What's quacking? Today, we're gonna focus on recording our own drum samples. This project I've been working on recently has been running my drums dry and everything is starting to sound the same, so I need some new drums. For finding objects to become your new drum pack, you can either use percussive instruments such as these, or you could grab some random shit and just hope it makes a cool noise. All right, now that we have all of our sounds recorded into Edison, I have the shaker loaded up into Mixer Track 10, just for an example to show you guys of what I'm specifically doing with each of the sample sounds that I'm creating. Um, so this is basically the entire recording, the long unsegmented shaker sound. And basically what I do is I, I play it and I listen to the entire thing and just fine pick certain aspects that I like and use that for the beat or drum loop that I'm planning on creating. Uh, I did record it a bit quiet and with Edison you can hit this normalize button and it kind of just increases the volume of everything to a more normal volume I guess. Yeah, so it's a bunch of shaker noises. Um, the example I chose is somewhere around here. Let me play it. Yeah, so I think it's that sound. Um, so I will show you guys what that one is. So it's w way louder um, than the previous one, but this is the specific shaker sound that I picked. And what you can do now is you can open it up. I already was messing around with the kicks and the another shaker sound, but I'm going to load this one up into here. And now uh, let's listen to the shaker. I'm going to do it about 90 BPM and just make a basic drum sample with all of the samples that I was recording. So this is the shaker. Uh, and with the kick, I didn't realize how hard it would be to create a kick that I actually liked. And so I spent a decent amount of time yesterday recording this and then realizing I should just give an extra day to finish. But basically what I did is the empty box that I used to make a, I, I don't know, I, I was using it as like a snare, but I was also had the idea of a kick in mind. And this is pretty much what I created. It's very, very deep and boomy. This is unedited. It, it's literally just me smacking a box. But you can hear kind of a bassy noise. And I am using, for the kick, uh, this is a sound design plugin created by Isotope. It's called Iris 2. Uh, this is literally my first time ever doing sound design. And so it, it's probably not the best kick ever in the world. And this was the second sound. And I just kind of layered them on top of each other and created this. It's a kick. It's very boomy, very low. Not my favorite thing ever, but I'm just going to see what I can do. Practice makes perfect. So I'm going to put the kick and the shaker together. Uh, I clearly don't like the delay of the shaker compared to the kick. So I'm going to shorten the length and then also, no, that's not it. I'm going to choose where the shaker starts and see if that makes it better. I have a kick. I have a shaker. I'm going to work on a snare and maybe a hi-hat. And then I'm also going to just throw in a little bit of those random percussive noises that I was using and just see what kind of drum loop I can create. You know what, I might just redo all the drums. We'll cut, and cut, and cut, and cut this shit out, boy. I think I'm gonna start off with that little. Okay, I think this is all I'm going to be able to do right now. Could it have come out a little bit better? Yes. The kick was a struggle for me to figure out how to do. Uh, sound design is completely new to me, so recording all of my sounds, my own drum sounds, 
trying to come up with my own kicks, my own snares. This is all new to me. So apologies for it not being a fucking banger like some other YouTubers. But this is what producer practice is going to be from now on. It's going to be me trying something new. Maybe I'll come back to it eventually and do like a part two once I figure it out a bit more. But right now, this is just kind of like a precursor. Me just kind of showing what what I'm trying to do and hopefully teach you guys a, a few things for anybody who's watching for those reasons. Let's, I guess, take one last look at this shitty drum pattern I created. I guess I could put fucking keys on top of it or something. Okay, hold on. Okay, I don't know how long I've been doing that. I kind of got entranced for a little bit. Um, I'm starting to like the drums and everything now. I think it just needed a melody, and I think I found that melody. I ain't mad now. The drums are still a little bit weird, but the melody on top kind of takes away from it. So I didn't make the melody from scratch. Hopefully one day I will be able to do that. But all the drums completely from scratch. Everything's all done, I guess, by hand. Obviously, I didn't create the instruments or I didn't create the plugin. But all of these sounds are made by me with those devices. And I feel like that's pretty cool. And hopefully if you guys want to... Any producers out there watching these videos want to challenge themselves to do the same thing, uh, you can feel free to, uh, I guess if you have my Twitter or my Instagram or whatever, you can send me whatever you make and I'm definitely down to listen. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully I entertained you. And sorry for not posting on Friday, okay? Because I'm a fucking idiot, okay? Forgive me. Love you.